Hello again. If anything looks different, it's because I fucking died. And by God, does that annoy me. But it's okay. Because we got some gold. We can come out here. I don't think there's anything in this. There isn't. We can whack our head on this thing. It's okay. And then look. If you had come through the bottom path and jumped onto this, you wouldn't see this because the camera would be turned around. Now where do we go? Oh, would you look at that. Normally, you'd have to jump up on this and shimmy across. However... Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, but just fucking no. Shimmying in this game is boring. Give me that cross. Almost jump off the ledge, that's okay. There's going to be a rolling boulder in this room. Now, if you jump after jumping into this room, the camera will get stuck, and it's really annoying. We're going to get hit anyway. We're going to get hit again, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Trust me, the first two times I did that room, I went through it flawlessly. You're just going to have to trust in me, because... Why wouldn't you trust in me? Alright. Now we've come out here, and there's an axe. Hooray, we get another axe. These platforms give us nothing, because they're bad. Now something I did actually not mention, that I really should have mentioned. Okay, let's... Darn it! I know there's a way to grab onto that when it is fully retracted in, but, you know. That involves being good at the video games, and I'm, I'm clearly not. So... Uh... What? What madman designed this? Who... who thought this was a good idea? Jesus Christ. Anyway... Something I actually forgot is those little side jumps you saw. You can do them forward. And that gives you a lot more space. And I've actually been using that. Fuck! I didn't mean to grab that. And there's a roast chicken up there that I completely... You know what? I'm just... I'm not having a good day. I'm not having a good day. So there's... This is some fucking harpy bitch. I'm gonna take out my bad day on this bitch because... Jesus Christ. Christ, I was not supposed to pick up that cross. Oh my god. She has some voices in the PAL version. It's like, show me your rage! Yeah, I'll show you my fucking rage. Get over here. Come on. Is that enough? Is that enough rage for you? You joke of a boss, just dying immediately, just flying away from this platform like, Oh look, I'm a fucking little harpy. Break your goddamn neck on the descent down. Yeah, you know what, fuck you. Nobody gives a shit about you. You're a terrible boss. Fucking Carrie gets Medusa. Reinhardt gets the fucking Fairy Queen. Cornell gets some dumb harpy. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm just done. We're in our tower. Our tower is a terrible level because of these things. Look at that! There's an engraving. Moonlight releases the seal! Yep, you know what that means? That means... Okay, hey, let me... Okay. It means I gotta go down here. 
I can use a moon card, wait through this, and be like, okay, now it's night time, so I can... <sighs> and look, everything else is the time of day door. Wow, that's super fun. That's really good game design. Hey, don't you... You fucking dickhead. Nobody fucking hits me. Jesus. So now we gotta use this time of day card and it's like, oh boy, isn't this not... This is fun gameplay. And then, you know, you gotta go through the door. Holy oh, shit. And then this is going downward. And we gotta... Now, the speed run of this level, I do not like it. You will see exactly why. Oh, yes. You will see exactly why I hate the speed run of this level. Because the speed run of this level is stupid. We gotta go in here to another time of day card. Is This is, this is fun, right? People enjoy this. This is super fun. I love having to go into the inventory constantly to use these little cards. Isn't that fun? Waiting for the time to go back to normal. Oh boy, that is super fun. And there's sun and moon cards everywhere. All the fucking armies, armors drop them because they kind of have to. Because imagine going through this level without sun and moon cards. Now stop imagining that, because that's terrible, and I would never willingly do that to another human being. Because I'm pretty sure the Geneva Convention has outlawed that. Yeah, the fire is pretty simple. You just jump over the fire that goes forward. You duck under the fire that goes forward. Now, you see this little thing that the platforms are going up and down on? Yeah, in the speed run, you have to jump you have to run up and down that, which is really not fun. And I say it's not fun because it's really easy to fall off that little short platform and just go into the death below. Hooray. Ugh. And now, time to break this level because honestly, do you care? I don't care. This is a stupid level. Don't attack Cornell. Can I get back into the spot? Thank you. I was breaking through the level by myself. Thank you, Cornell. Yeah. Excuse me, can you thank you? Can you let me through? Jesus Christ. This is exactly as... Oh, God. Now I have to go into the items, use some roast chicken, because I don't want to die. I've already played through this enough. I've already gotten through this clip once before. Can... Can I just... Get... Jesus Christ. Stop twirling your weapon around and clip me through the bounds. Stop it. I don't... I'm not having... Jesus, this is the worst tower. I hate this tower. Why are you on the other side of the room? Seriously, why? How did you get over there? Why? Jesus Christ. That was a high-ass jump. Jesus. Finally, after a billion years, we're through. And now time for the hardest part of this level. Trying to figure out what the fuck. We figured out what the fuck, though. That's good. Arc Tower Key 2 has been used. 
As you noticed, nothing was loaded when we clipped through the room, which meant we were just able to use our tower key. And that's great. However, I already have failed a recording past this part, because something I didn't realize is, when I'm sober, I am able to do this part pretty well. However, when I'm really drunk, it turns out I have a tendency to not do this part super well. Which isn't very good. And watch, I'm gonna do this first try now. Of course, of, of course, of course I do it this time. Of course, why wouldn't I not? Might as well pick up another cross since we have a fucking cross. And then, you know. Seriously? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, come, come on. This is the closest you're gonna see me frustrated at this game. Because... I say the closest, and yet, here we are at the Tower of Ruins. The Tower of Ruins is a terrible level. It's a fucking awful, awful level. And you see this? Wow, look at this. Yeah. Wait, is that... Okay, there's a little zombie coming up. Get down. Okay, so we got these little... These little zombies, but that's not the worst part of... The don't open the door! Oh my god. What are you doing in trunk? Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay. So! As I would. Okay. Well, we got a level 3 cross now. So now you'll get to see that. Oh. Now, as you can see, there's these things above the room. That's because the Tower of Ruin is terrible. It has all of these little things that is just designed to screw you over. And wow, would you look at this. This is a map. Yeah, you don't get this in every room, and it doesn't even tell you what's in every room. And oh my fucking lord, I just do not like this level at all. It's a terrible level, and I hate it. And let's see. Right now I am looking at a map. Because... This room? The floor? It collapses, and we don't want that, so we're going to have to stick to the sides so the floor doesn't collapse. Hooray on us. There's a zombie man. He just, he's useless. He's, he's really not very good at all. And then, see this? Wow. It's a fucking wheel. Which means that, yeah, we can't go through that yet. Oh, hey, look, it's a jewel. Hello there, red jewel. Am I... How to... Okay, I'm trying to look at a map for this. Oh. My. Lord. I did not expect this to collapse. Actually. Oh god. Well, we get to see the collapse room, which the first time I was down here, I had no idea how to get out. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I had to look around because I saw this and it's like, this didn't help me. And this was the only door I had seen for a while. Little did I know. Yeah, there's a door right over here. Jesus Christ. Tower of Ruin is just 
I do not like this part of the level. It's a maze in a part that is clearly not designed to have a maze. And I don't know where I am. And it's very confusing. Okay, I think you come out from there at some point. There's an urn. This is an urn room. Is it urn A or urn B? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Do you see what I mean? This room is terrible. I don't like it. Okay, I think we're in the center room again. Alright. So we go in this way. This is the entrance! Jesus Christ, do you see why I hate this room? Jesus, this is this is not a good tower. And this room collapses as well. The the point of the point I'm trying to make is that don't do this level drunk. I don't know why I'm doing this level drunk. This is it. Well, I know why because I'm like, hey, 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 I'm gonna start this up. I'm on, you know, fucking. I'm two levels before this. I'm not going to get there in the fucking 20 minutes that I'm given these episodes now because why the f fuck not? Open the door. Am I even... Okay. We're in another room. This guy's, you know, being stupid. So we can just kill him. Get a power-up. We needed that power-up. Where are we right now? Does this map tell us? Okay, this map kind of tells us... Okay, we need to go this way twice, I think? And this room collapses, but we can be brave and not have to worry too much about it. And then let's see. There's a goosty goo in here. It's a spiky spike room. And here we go. We can stand on this, except not yet, because... Okay, now we can stand on it because that guy died. And as you know, uh, memory to keep in mind is that killing people, killing people allows you to go forward. So now we can go here, I think. Yeah, because see, remember how there was that thing there? Yeah, now that's up because we stepped on the plate. And let's see... Okay, so we need to kill the red ghosties so the other ghosties die. This room will collapse, so we don't want. Jesus. Just imagine how fun playing this level blind is. And of course, I mean fun in a very sarcastic sense because Jesus Christ. If it's not been clear enough already, I don't like this level. This level is just so terrible. Please just save me from having to play this terrible, terrible level. Again, I can't stress enough. Even the, this is the one level that stops me when it comes to the speedrun of this game. Because I don't want to keep playing this at all. Let's just do this normally instead of running forward because I've been just having terrible luck here. I don't know where I am. Okay, let's see. This map should tell us where we are. Okay, we are at this point where we found the thingy-madooter. 
So we want to keep going forward. But, you know, we've hit the 20 minute mark, so I'm going to pause right now. In the next episode, we are going to continue the horror that is this terrible, terrible level.